Okay, let's try this again. Quest 3, this is brand new at the box, all set up, drained to 10% and I've been experimenting with the charging situation. Now, I'm using a 65 watt Anker Nano charger. I've got a proper voltage tester that obviously um, I can use to obviously monitor the current, but this um, cable will tell me exactly the same thing, so I trust this reading, it's just easier. Um, this headset is currently powered completely off and it doesn't matter what state it's in at the minute. Um, it's going between 11, 12, up to 18 for a brief second, then back down to 11, 12. And that's done it all the way up from 10% to whatever it's on now, which is probably about 40. What I'm actually going to do is take this out. I'm going to turn the headset on. And wait for this to boot because there's something quite funky going on with the power draw situation so it will not charge over like a normal 18 watt um, charger even though you, you can give it more wattage on your on your power brick it doesn't doesn't matter um, the actual processor or the Qualcomm chip it should support I would say 25 watt maybe even up to 30 you don't actually get that with it turned off you don't get it with it in sleep mode the only way you get more power draw is if the headset is on Try get this back in. There we go. Now, this is obviously going to be in boundary set or whatever, but you can see that when it's all powered on and in use, you do get more power draw. So it's not like the headset can't do it. It's the charge circuit, if for whatever reason, is only using 18 watt for just normal charging. If I if I leave this be, so it's 27 watt, 24. When the screen goes off, you're going to see this drop. So I took my finger away from the proximity cover, so it should do the same thing. It should go into sleep mode in a second. There you go. And we're going to plummet back down to about 11. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, there's no reason why this can't charge up at 20, 25 watts, even 30 if it goes up to that. But it's just not doing it. So uh, annoyingly, um, this means it's going to take longer to charge. The 18 watt power brick they supply, I'm going to test that separately with my own tester because, again, there's reports of that and not even outputting 18 watts. But it doesn't matter if you go for a bigger power brick, you don't get over the 18 watt. That's the max it's going to go to. I mean, 20 briefly and then it drops back down again. Um, there's not much you can do. The only thing you can do to get a bit more power draw, and um, this is obviously going to be the draw of that, so it's, it's seeing that it needs more amperage. So you turn it on and the wattage is going to go up. Whether that equates to an actual faster charge or not, I don't know because I've already tested a Bobo VR battery bank off the Quest 2 Bobo head strap. Um, that's a 5 volt, 2.5 amp power, power bank. When I was just looking at the UI screen, no game playing, no downloading going. Um, it was at half brightness, Bluetooth off. I left it for about 20 minutes before I got bored and it only went up 1% on the actual gauge while that was in use. That was absolutely no games playing whatsoever. So um, that's not really going to be sufficient enough to charge this headset. I don't know if it's just a battery management problem they've got in the firmware at the moment or if it really is this taxing. Um, there's no reason that chip is that taxing. It must be something to do with either the panels or the brightness used or whatever um, or just something in, in the firmware they need to correct. But Charging wise, um, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what charger you use, you can chuck a 100 watt charger, it won't make any difference. Um, 18 watt is about the maximum you're going to get when it's in standby or in the powered off state. So, yeah, I'm not sure um, if it's going to be more um, economical, I guess, to lower the brightness right down and then just uh, leave it on. <laughs> that might charge a little bit faster, but. Yeah, I, realistically, I, I don't know what's going on there. They're going to need to uh, they're going to need to tweak it. So if this is going into uh, pass through again, I can hear the screen going in. Oh, I don't know what's going on internally in the headset, but it, it should go up to about 30 watts in use, um, which is pretty much expected. Um, if it if it accepts a 25 watt charge, I I can't imagine this actually using uh, using that much power, but. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a weird um, thing going on within the firmware at the moment. So if you're wondering why it takes so bloody long to charge, that's um, that's why. Um, this will sit at 11% for 
for most of the time throughout charging with any brief sort of stints. I mean, it's 13 again now. Brief stints up to 18 for a couple of seconds and then it dropped back down. So for whatever reason, this is a very, very slow charging headset. Um, and again, if you've got a lower um, wattage uh, battery bank, then you're going to be waiting quite a long time to get any charge or actually see any charge go into your headset at all. So there's some firmware stuff they need to work on, I think. Um, but that is pretty much explaining what's happening with the, the charging on the Quest 3 at the moment. There's no reason this shouldn't be at 25 watt. My Pico's considered 25 watt standby to power it off or in use it to make any difference. The power is the power. Um, but something's limiting this charge going in and it's not um, this isn't fully charged, it's not like I'm at 90% or anything, this has been 10% up to whatever it is now. Um, yeah, it just seems to be uh, something limiting the actual charge rate. So I'll leave the video there. If anyone else has got any uh, explanation why it's doing this, apart from Meta not actually updating anything as yet. Um, yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on this. You can see it's obviously less than, less than 2 amp going in, 9 volt. So here's a PD. PD charge, I guess, 9 volt spec. I'll try to turn this around, alright. Uh, bear with the jankiness. I'm on screen, where are you? So, you see, we're going to go above 2 amps here. Brief flashes obviously depend on what it's needing. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be hard to bloody capture on video. The headset's going, going into some weird pass for it's obviously uh, not being turned on properly, but or boundary confirmed. But yeah, something's causing it to not charge as uh, as quick as it really could. So yeah, another problem with the Quest 3s.